This demonstration walkthrough will teach you how to use the lab activity. First, conduct a streak test to determine the color of the calcite streak. Click to pick up the calcite. Click and hold to drag the calcite across the streak plate. Click to drop the calcite out of the way. Click to pick up the hand lens. Place the hand lens over the streak plate for a closer look at the color of the streak and mineral powder. Click to drop the hand lens out of the way. Next, test the hardness of the calcite. Narrow down what the hardness of the calcite could be by scratching it with each hardness testing material. Click to pick up the talc. Talc is the softest, hardest testing material. Click and drag to try to scratch the calcite with the talc to determine the hardness of the calcite. Click to drop the talc out of the way. Click to pick up the hand lens. Place the hand lens over the calcite to see if the talc left the mark on the calcite. Click to drop the hand lens out of the way. The talc has a hardness of approximately 1. Since the talc did not scratch the calcite, we know the calcite has a hardness of more than 1. Select a harder object to test the hardness of the calcite. Click to pick up the fingernail. Click to try to scratch the calcite to determine its hardness. Click to drop the fingernail out of the way. Click to pick up the hand lens. Place the hand lens over the calcite to see if the fingernail left the mark on the calcite. Click to drop the hand lens out of the way. The fingernail has a hardness of approximately 2.5. Since the fingernail did not scratch the calcite, you know that the calcite has a hardness of more than 2.5. Select a harder object to test the hardness of the calcite. Click to pick up the streak plate. Click and drag to try to scratch the calcite with the streak plate. Click to drop the streak plate anywhere out of the way. Click to pick up the hand lens. Place the hand lens over the calcite to see if the streak plate left a mark. Click to drop the hand lens out of the way. The street plate has a hardness of about 5.5. Since it was able to scratch the calcite, you know the calcite has a hardness less than 5.5. Later, when you do the lab activity on your own, you can try scratching the mineral samples with the other hardness testing materials as well. Next, test the cleavage of the calcite. Click to pick up the hammer and chisel. Click to hammer the chisel and split the calcite. Click to drop the hammer and chisel out of the way. Click to pick up the hand lens. Observe how the calcite fractures. See if it has a crystal form. Click to drop the hand lens out of the way. Click to reset the calcite. Next, determine the luster of the calcite. Click to turn on the lamp. Click to pick up the calcite. Click to place the calcite under the lamp. Click to pick up the hand lens. Place the hand lens over the calcite for a closer look at its luster. Click to drop the hand lens out of the way. Observe how the calcite reflects the light. In the lab activity, consider descriptors such as metallic, glassy, 
vitreous, or soapy to describe the luster of the mineral sample. Keep in mind, this is a subjective description and is probably not the deciding factor in identifying your mineral. Next, test the special properties of the calcite. Not every mineral sample will display special properties. Click to pick up the magnet. Move the magnet next to the calcite. If the calcite is magnetic, it will move towards the magnet. Click to pick up the magnet. Click to drop the magnet out of the way. Click to pick up the calcite. Click again to place the calcite next to the iron filings. If the calcite is magnetic, the iron filings will cling to it. Click to pick up the calcite. Click to place the calcite on the bench. Click to pick up the pipette. Click to squeeze the pipette and extract acid from the bottle. Click to release one drop of acid on the calcite. Click to drop the pipette out of the way. For the lab activity, you'll need to test all seven mineral samples, and then use your findings to determine the name of the unknown mineral sample. The demonstration walkthrough is complete. Begin the lab activity.